Hello and welcome back to the channel for another driver spotlight episode. We are staring at a carbon drift team car and uh, got a bit of an interesting episode because we have two of the carbon drift team cars here for today's driver spotlight. This is one of them. So let's get into the episode. Make sure you follow me on all social media, all of which are found in the description box below. So when I say we have two cars from the Carbon Drift team, the first one right here is from CDT Bando. It's an RB26 DET 700 horsepower HDS series S14. Definitely an amazing looking car. You know my love for S chassis. So the Hungarian Drift series, the you know car looks amazing. The livery is on point. It's definitely a very sweet looking car. This is one of the two cars from the CDT team that I have here for today's driver spotlight. But the first one is that of CDT Bando. So before we get ripping this car, a few uh, credits are to be given out to those that are due credit. And that is for the car model for this S14 was done by, you know, Lewis Stanley. If I'm butchering your names, I do apologize. Car data by Luke Versma. Danger graphics coming in with delivery and a bunch of the miscellaneous stuff by CDT Nirvana, who is another driver in today's driver spotlight. So we're going to get into his car after this. So the S14, definitely a very cool car. And, you know, I definitely love the way the bumper and the wide fenders are. So we're going to go full send on this here for today because, well, we came to drive. So let's uh, change it up here. Let's get the wheel cam turned on. So we got the wheel cam turned on. Ooh, definitely a very loud car and a big thank you to CDT Bando for allowing me access to his HDS car. This car is aggressive. Turbo lag is going to be something I'm going to have to get used to with this car because it does ha feel like it has a little bit of turbo lag because of the big turbo. So. Hopefully we can get this right. We are in VDC Autopolis. Let's uh, go full send. Hopefully we uh, don't send it off track. We're gonna see if we can't do a clean run in the first one. Fourth gear. Oh, failed to initiate there. Yep, failed initiation. Give me a second to get used to the car and then we might be on a good full run here. Manage that transition pretty well. The left foot brake to pull that back in. Left foot brake there, coming in across the line. Not a bad run for the first run in this car. So I'm definitely having a, a lot of fun doing all of these driver spotlights and getting a chance to drive all these, you know, pro cars and all these different series cars. You guys are definitely enjoying the series. So like I said, the more the cars come in, the more we're going to be doing these driver spotlights. It's so fun to get behind the wheel of other people's pro cars. So big thank you to CDT. Bando for giving me access to his uh, his whip for today's episode. We're going to do another one run or two here and then we're going to switch up to the other CDT car for today's episode. It's kind of a team spotlight as well. Carbon Drift team, definitely a very uh, sleek livery and definitely appreciate the colorings. All right, let's try and get initiation. Clutch kick initiation. It's a little better. We're a little bit off that clip, but we're managing to somewhat get a smooth run in the car. We would have punted that clip, but for an overall run on the car, uh, I'll take it. Not the perfect or the cleanest runs, but clutch kick initiation. Kind of hesitant on the first turn, but we managed to get a pretty solid run out of the car. We're going to be taking the car to Irwindale because you know we always end these episodes off on Irwindale. But we're going to check out the other car after this one. And that one, I apologize to headphone users in advance for that car. So we're going to go full send for a third time here. Keep this car in boost. A little clutch kick initiation. A little late on the initiation. A lot of clutch kicks there to keep, keep it in power. Turbo lag is something I definitely got to get used to driving. Pulling that in. Full throttle. No lift. See if we can kick this. No lift too. No lift there. Just a very faint feather. Less brake. 
definitely after one or two runs was getting a little more comfortable in the car so definitely like the car first impression the car is very controllable i like it has a good amount of snap it doesn't snap too crazy it has a good amount of control it's just the turbo lag is something i have to get used to driving so let's switch up cars to the other driver spotlight for cdt nirvana and uh then we're going to take both these cars to irwindale so let's switch up cars meet you guys back on grid so the next car up is another CDT car of CDT Nirvana, the FD RX-7. This car is, rest in peace headphone users, that's why I said it. So I have it in gear right now so you aren't hearing the actual car. We're going to start it up for a second here and let you guys hear this rotary from hell as I like to call it. We're going to start it up. Got that lumpy idle going. Just banging red line on this RX-7. It's definitely a crazy looking aggressive car. Nirvana used to drive in the RX-7 back in for seven days. So it's kind of cool to see him back in an FD chassis. So, so as we did with Bando's car, credit where credit is due. So this is a VDC RX-7 public car. But the livery, of course, just like on Bando's, was done by Danger Graphic. This beautiful rear mount radiator back here, done by JSI Mystified, as well as the converted model from TUS Speedex. So these are big names you guys have heard on the channel before. JSI, TUS, teams, and people I've driven with before. Great group of guys. Definitely enjoy driving with them. Increased my driving skills, so it's great to get my hands on one of Nirvana's cars here and everything else done on this car was done by nirvana himself so we're gonna go full rip on this rest of these headphone users turn it down a little bit this thing's gonna be high rev so let's go full send on this car here and see what we can do with it here we're gonna get the wheel cam turned on oh it's just so loud we're gonna heat up the tires It's an angry F1 car. Jesus. This sound is insane, and this car is definitely crazy. I loved the S14 and this. The color combinations, great contrast of cars. Rotary and RB26. So let's see what we can do with Nirvana's car here on the VDC track. Clutch kick it in. Oh my lord. All right. Tires weren't heated up enough. Whew. Doing a little uh, grassroots in your car, Nirvana. I, I apologize for that. I don't think the gear ratio might not be set correctly. Oh, man. We're almost out of gas already. This car is so aggressive and so aggressive sounding. It's going to take me a second. Like when I was running the 14, it took me a lap to kind of get used to it. So now we're... Uh, going to go full send again we're gonna actually heat up the tires a little bit more because i don't think they were hot enough last time and that's why we went a little bit off course all right i feel like we uh got some heat in these in these rear tires so let's try and not go full send into the grass this time sorry about your uh splitters and everything nirvana Third and fourth. A little bit easier of an entry. Kind of bring it in just so we can get a full pull out to the clip. The transition is really smooth, just like the 14. Just banging red line across the line. This car is crazy loud. Like I said, I apologize to headphone users for this one. Whew. That that idle, that just high F1 pitch is definitely the rotary from hell. So we're going to go one more pull here, then we're going to head to Irwindale with both of the cars, get back in Bando's 14, and see what Bando's 14 can do in Irwindale on the bank. We're going to try to get a better initiation this time. I, I just can't get over that red line. That is, that is insane. It's just so loud. I feel like you would need like multiple earplugs in order to actually drive this car in real life. Nope, we went full send in the grass again. Sorry, Nirvana. 
We're gonna we'll make up for that at Irwindale. We did get one full pull in this car. This car is just so loud. I love how these cars float and both of them transition very well. And it's something that is hard to find in comp cars. Some cars are way too snappy. These ones are very dialed. I, I think they have a very dialed setup on these cars. So let's head over to Irwindale and go full send in Bandos 14 and see what we can do. All right, so we're back behind the wheel of the RB26S14 of CDT Bando. So once again, a big thank you to Bando and Nirvana for letting me get my hands on their cars. You know, and it's definitely, you know, when you have two of the same team, it's definitely really cool to do both of them and kind of do a team and driver spotlight. You know, Carbon Drift team and, you know, CDT Nirvana and CDT Bando. Definitely uh, some aggressively fun cars. And this one is not as loud as the RX-7, but it does sound really good. So let's see what we can do with Irwindale in Bandos 14. Fourth gear, clutch kick it in. Kind of stay a little bit lower on the wall till we realize where this thing's gonna stick. All right, it sticks actually. So this thing sticks kind of where I put it. So that's a good thing. Oh yeah, this car kind of sticks exactly where I put it, so we can be a little more aggressive in this car, and we can go way higher up on the bank on initiation because it kind of, where you put it, you set it and forget it. So I do like how he has the door placard of his name on the windows. That's definitely a really cool thing. Something I've been looking and doing more is putting names on the rear windows and things of that nature. So it's definitely a cool thing. Something, you know, you don't often see. So uh, kudos to him on that one. All right, we're gonna see if we can't stick this up on the wall. And not in the wall. Little less angle than I would like to be, but much higher on the bank than the first run. More angle there, there we go. A little bit of a handbrake control there. <laughs> Gaslight on, these comp cars running very minimal fuel. A very solid run I feel and you know what I love how this 14 handles it's definitely very good to transition it's quick to angle but it has it's not over snappy so some cars and some comp cars I've driven are super over snappy if you're on throttle on a transition it's it'll just snap on you real quick and you'll lose control we're gonna see if we can't do one more pull in his car before we run out of gas and uh, we're gonna switch up to the RX-7 from hell to end the episode off Once again, a big thank you to CDT Bando for giving me the opportunity to rip his car and we out of gas. <laughs> big thank you to CDT Bando for hooking me up with the keys or his little push button to his 14. Definitely an amazing car. I definitely had a lot of fun driving it. So we're going to go test Nirvana's RX-7 here before we end this episode off. So uh, let's switch up cars. So we are we are in the back in the rotary from hell of CDT Nirvana. And we're going to go rip Irwindale with this car one or two runs or until we run out of gas because I know his car is uh, also very low on gas. So we're going to go until we probably run out of gas, which is, I think is two runs, which is about how they, these cars are normally set up. Hard flick entry. Kind of floated up to the wall, so it's kind of very floaty up there, which is very a little bit different than the 14 but at everybody's driving style is different oh my this car is just lighting these tires up on the wall that was a very solid run in this car if I do say so myself out of the box no real tuning just change the gear ratio a little bit because it felt like we would have been bouncing red line way too much in fourth gear if i would have kept the ratio that was on the car advantage of having adjustable ratios we're probably only going to get one more run here in this car so a big thank you to cdt bando and cd Nirvana for letting me get the hands on their cars definitely an amazing thing carbon drift team a little spotlight for you guys today 
That initiation is so aggressive. I can't see where I'm going. That was such an aggressive entry. I do not know how we held that without dying. Oh, we're gonna loop it. Uh, we kind of looped it towards the end. Nirvana's car, definitely very snappy compared to Bandos, but that's, you know, a testament to driver's personal preference and the rotary is dead. We're out of gas, so that'll do it here for this episode here on a set of Corsa driver spotlight, CDT Bando and CDT Nirvana and a little team spotlight of Carbon Drift Team. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all of which are found in the description box below. And as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.